Hey everyone, and welcome at Starter Gaming. It's been a while actually since I recorded a video, but uh, lately I've seen uh, several comments on the uh, Medieval Sims series, and several of these comments have ever actually pointed out um, that they were unable to play this game anymore on newer PCs, and I experienced basically the same thing. Um, I just recently got a new machine after the old one died of old age, apparently. <laughs> And uh, so I got myself a new one and it's, again, I only buy the ones that are, you know, top shelf at that time. So I ran into this issue um, where The Sims Medieval just wouldn't start, you know, just like that. It starts and then it just crashes back. And the reason for that, um, the reason why this happens uh, is apparently connected to the... Uh, processor architecture, um, so multi-core stuff like that. I'm not an expert on these things, um, but but that seems to be the reason. And there is a workaround for that that I will share with you. Um, and I will put um, two things in the description uh, as a download link that you will need for that. All right, so let's let's talk about what's happening here and um, what what we need. Um, essentially. The problem here is when you start the Sims process, it cannot attach itself to the correct core um, in your computer anymore because apparently of the processor architecture. So what you need to do for both games runs um, the same engine essentially, um, the Sims Medieval and the Sims 3, because I experienced it with both. So I've seen I I've seen comments that have seen this game with both. I don't play a lot of Sims 3. I tested it. It did work for me. So if this is the same that you are experiencing, just download the same script. So what I did is I found the script online after like two, three days of digging. Um, you kind of need to know what you're looking for. So this is not my script. It does work. I had it analyzed by um, an AI chatbot. I was like, what is this script doing? And it was actually telling me. So let's have a quick look into this. What it does is it gives you, you know, like a little prompt. And then it sets the processor affinity in this sector here for the process um, to one. It waits for a couple of seconds and then it sets it back. That's the whole story. So basically what it does, it makes sure that the processor or the, the, the process does know what kind of processor to use in your computer. And then when you start the game during the runtime of this script, you're, you're good. So let's just try that. You've seen uh, that it didn't work before. To run the script, you need PowerShell. That is normally installed on a Windows computer. You need to look for it. Um, just, you know, choose another app and search for it. Uh, it is Windows PowerShell. It kind of works. So let's run the script. You see it waits now. And if I start the medieval game, we go to the launcher right away. And uh, it's very stable. I've played many of hours. <laughs> and the reason why I played many of hours, obviously, is I need to restore my old game um, as it doesn't work anymore. Um, the, the save game is gone with all the three seasons. So I'm working in the back to restore that. And once it's done, there might be a fourth season. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you do too. Um, I will try to make more content. I have prepared some stuff. It's always a question of time and energy with me. You are aware of that. Um, it has been a crazy couple of years and I might tell you about it um, in one of the future videos. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Visit the description. Don't forget to, you know, like, subscribe, the whole shebang. And then I see you around for the next one. Until then, I'm Stordier.